Hello everyone, this is Kelsey Guidry with SocialOnce.com and I am here today to go over what I think is some of the best social media strategies that you could do and you could take. Um, it's a very short list, very specific on things that you could do. Um, even if you've been in social media for a while or just getting into it, hopefully I could give you a few ideas or pointers that you can maybe do to utilize social media on your own. So let me just go straight into uh, covering some of the points. So one of the first things and the best strategies that you can do uh, while utilizing social media is to simply listen. Listen to what people are saying, follow conversations, look at blogs and see what people are blogging about and talking about. Um, go into forums and chat rooms and social networking websites and see what people are just talking about or asking. and. Uh, just taking an interest of what people have to say um, is a, a big uh, part of social media so that you can actually go into what I'm going to cover uh, in the next strategy. Uh, most of you heard of, uh, hopefully, of social media monitoring and just monitoring what's being said either about you personally or your business or uh, just your industry in general. Uh, but it is very important to listen. Uh, you could do this by uh, things like Facebook and Twitter search, um, uh, blog searches, just general Google searches, searching in Facebook, uh, or using some of the social media monitoring tools that they have out there. Um, so yeah, definitely listen to what people are saying. And then the reason you are listening is uh, going into the second uh, most important strategy is uh, creating content. After you do all this listening, you want to utilize what you learn about what people are asking and talking about and you want to create content revolved around that. Uh, just because you are an expert in something and you have a lot to talk about uh, doesn't really mean that that's what people are interested in. Um, you have to find uh, where people are interested in stuff and create content around your passion but around other people's passions also. Um, it's not just about you. So uh, yeah, creating content based on what you, uh, you heard and this could be content as far as audio, video like this, uh, producing uh, articles in a blog, it could be producing ebooks, uh, podcasts, any type of content. Uh, I would very much recommend creating unique content, creating content all on your own, um, not really outsourcing it to anyone or um, finding a post that is uh, on a website like eZine or WikiHow while uh, that is good content that you can maybe put on your website and in your blog. Uh, you want to create as much original content as you can. Um, so going into the next step, after you create this content and definitely distribute it out, um, there's many different ways that you could distribute it, uh, but once it's out there, you want to make sure that you are communicating with people. Simply talk to people. This is called social media and a big part of social media is obviously social networking. It's called networking. Networking with people, talking to people, creating relationships. Uh, you know maintaining contact with friends and simply talking with people and if you're in a specific niche industry to go in and talk as much as you can about that uh, specific industry and that shows that you just have a big interest in it and you have uh, a lot of knowledge to share with people and that leads me up to the next major strategy you have a lot of knowledge help people people are asking and talking about it and when they do offer your advice just simply help people in any kind of any kind of way you can uh, one of the things that I do on a daily basis at least is to uh, find out what people are saying or wanting and just get someone to tell me thank you by being able to share something uh, that I find is one of the biggest uh, pluses that I could do and if they are needing uh, additional services that you offer well then they are more likely to uh, seek it from you being that you have been helping them um, this whole time so that just boils down to caring about people and caring about your friends and the relationships that you build so that is it that's four basic of the best social media strategies that I think they have there's many more social media strategies that you could take 
but uh, that's the ones that I think are the bread and butter to any social media strategy. So that's all I have for this video. And if you have any questions on social media strategies, please feel free to comment or uh, get in touch with me on Twitter at socialwants. Well, it's just at socialwants. So just uh, tweet me and I'll ask, answer any of your questions. And that is it. Have a good one.